As the number of cases continues to rise, more people here in Hampton Roads are living with someone with COVID-19. Reporter Margaret Cavanaugh shows us what the experts are suggesting if you're facing that challenge in your home. If you're caring for someone with COVID-19, experts say you want to keep them out of the common living areas like the living room or the kitchen. They say you want to put them in a room by themselves with their own bathroom, if at all possible. Self-isolation for COVID is even more difficult because it's now to one room of your house, not the whole house. So it's very difficult to do. It's kind of like being on solitary confinement. Dr. Ryan Light encourages people in solitary isolation to keep their mind busy. That's where you got to read books. You got to, you know, brush up on something you wanted to brush up on. Use your mind as much as possible and know that it's just a short term thing that you're going to be able to do for 14 days. Caregivers should put food outside the door. And when you do go into the room, you want to wear a mask or cover your face, change your clothes and avoid sharing personal household items like dishes, towels and bedding. You can place it out the outside of the door, knock and they can pick it up themselves. And then, you know, it's easy to use paper products for that, plastic spoons and knives so that you don't have to wash them. The CDC says wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after interacting with the sick person. Avoid touching your nose, eyes and mouth. Every day, clean all surfaces that are touched like counters, tabletops and doorknobs. Wash laundry thoroughly and wear gloves. And take action if your loved one's symptoms are getting worse. If you're having increasing shortness of breath, your cough is worsening, you're having that chest pain, you start to see confusion in the family member. Those are signs that you should seek emergency treatment. Dr. Light says this is stressful. All the things that are going on right now are difficult just because they create anxiety because we are social people by nature. And right now, <laughs> We're trying to do socialization through all their online media and things, and it still doesn't replace that contact that we have with people. This is a CDC website with all kinds of information on how to care for someone with the coronavirus or if you live in the same house with them. We put this information on our website at WTKR.com. I'm Margaret Cavanaugh for News 3. Now let's check the website.